UK creative industries are worth over £115 billion to the country's economy. That's bigger than the life sciences, aerospace and the automotive sectors combined. In 2018, the UK government announced the first significant investment programme in research and innovation for the creative industries, investing £95 million through UKRI in two major programmes. Partners have since doubled that funding supporting nine regional clusters across all four nations of the UK through the Audience of the Future Challenge and the Creative Industries Clusters programme. Our two programmes have produced clear evidence of six ways that public R&D funding can impact our creative nation. And the best way to tell that story is by meeting the companies our funding has supported. Tiny Rebel Games is an award-winning games and AR development studio. Sugar is special in the use of creative technology, particularly immersive technologies like AR, VR, and MR. We led the moving image demonstrator for Audience of the Future, which uh, was a collaboration between Tiny Rebel Games and Potato and Sugar Creative and University of South Wales. And we worked very closely with the team at Arden. We were delivering the entertainment demonstrator for the Innovate UK Audience of the Future project. We received five million with an extra million in an extension grant in order to continue the project into this year. I can unequivocally say that this project and all of the projects that stem for it would simply not have occurred without it. We never really had the um, creative freedom to do a lot of R&D because we didn't have the cash to do it. So we had to be focused on what we could commercially do as a result of it. R&D is a central component of how we approach creativity and technology and the harnessing of emerging technologies. It is at the heart of everything we do and needs to be for us to stay relevant. Every partner, every brand that we spoke to absolutely loved the idea and they were willing to engage in new formats, but has had a massive hesitancy in such a new field. They needed from a financial point of view to see KPIs, to see that such a thing was viable within the market. This project then steps in to create those KPIs. It also formed the basis of creating the multi-user storytelling engine, the must platform. This is a system that will enable us to underpin a number of transmedia immersively driven experiences going forward. The potential of that to become commercialized vastly exceeds any specific demonstrator. This was the first piece of R&D that had a global reach and a global impact. So what we have is not a single outcome, but a multifaceted outcome where we see commercial gain, educational gain, skills gain, and also growth within the sector. I would say it has been uh, completely game-changing for us as a company.